All right, let's give you our uh, our locks for Sunday. And uh, these are all these lines are all via the Bet Parks app, the only place I would ever use. Check it out right now. Dallas Cowboys uh, minus minus six. Right, let me and let me actually, as I'm talking here, let me pull up the so, so I can make sure that these are exactly where they are. Because a lot of times, like we'll put this out on social media, and you get people that'll be like, "Lines down to five and a half." You don't know what you're talking about. All right, well we're, we're giving these we're giving these games out on Friday. So yes. Oh my gosh, times- they're here. They are uh, the. The, the, on on cue, there it is. There is no Tyler. There is only Zuli. That's who it is. I, I don't know who you are, friend. I appreciate you. Uh, just as John said, don't tweet inflammatory stuff about me. There you go. Yeah, don't. Don't do that. Tyler Zuli. There is no Tyler Zuli. There is only Zuli. Well, listen, we need, we, need, we need fans for everybody on the show, including Herb. Herb from Northeast Philly is going to be here next Thursday, hopefully. All right, so, so the Dallas Cowboys. That was a, that was a, no, that's, that's not even this, this week's pick. I didn't pick Dallas. I was going to say, I didn't pick Dallas. I stayed away from that game because they're playing the freaking Ravens. The Ravens are one point favorites in Dallas. I would have nothing to do with betting that game. All right. The, uh, the Detroit lions minus three on the road at Arizona. I wasn't surprised that the lions lost last, last week to the bucks. I'd be surprised if the lions lost this week to the Cardinals Lions are a good football team. And this is one of these response games after a loss at home. Arizona was impressive last week. No question about it. Surprised me, um, but ultimately ran out of gas. That offense is pretty good, but the Lions have to win this game. They're not falling to one and two. It's mildly an Arizona line. Uh, A strong Lions line would be probably minus five, but I'm going to take them anyway. I'll take Detroit minus three on the road over the Arizona Cardinals. All right, the Browns and the Giants. And sometimes uh, you get clouded with your hate for other teams. And I hate the Giants. But they also suck. And this defense is really, really bad. And at some point, Cleveland's going to break out of whatever, whatever's going on with their offense. This may be the week to do it at home against the bad defense, against the bad offense. I like the Browns' defense a lot against Daniel Jones in this offensive line. I'll take the Browns minus 6.5 over the New York Giants. All right, the Texans on the road, Minnesota. When we talk about lines and... All right, like, what do you like in this game? Minnesota has surprised me this year. Sam Darnold has been good, but that also is is not going to last. And this is the first week that Darnold comes crashing down. And the Houston Texans are legit. C.J. Stroud is legit. That talent on offense is legit. And their head coach, D'Amico Ryans, in my opinion, is one of the better head coaches in the National Football League. So on the road, I'll take them. Take Houston Texans minus two over the Minnesota Vikings. And I like the Eagles 21 to 20. So take the Eagles plus two and a half points. Tyler Zuli, what do you got? Yeah. So uh, this is going to be the first week that you and I go head to head in a game. And uh, one of two things I think are going to happen as you laid out, the lions are going to come, you know, roaring back after a bet. I don't want to say a bad loss. Tampa Bay is a good team, but they were seven and a half point favorites. They didn't, they not only did they fail to cover, they failed to win the game. Yeah. Uh, the bucks win that game pretty convincingly. It was a, a pretty good game by them. Uh, but inversely, Arizona put up 41 last night or last week on a team that we probably are coming to understand that they're banged up, they're injured, and the Rams maybe just not that good. Um, the Cardinals' offense looks like it's going to be a threat for right. a bulk of the season. I'm just not sure how good their their defense actually is. Uh, they're getting three points at home, like you made mention. Uh, they are going up against the Lions. I'm going to take Arizona with the points uh, at home to cover the spread. Not sure they win. I think this is a close game. Give me the Bucks for the second straight week. Uh, I think the Denver Broncos are a mess right now. Bo Nix is not a good quarterback. I don't believe he's ever going to be a good quarterback. Uh, In fact, I I think I tweeted during the draft, Bo Nix is going to get a general manager fired. Uh, (laughs) I just don't think he's any good. Six and a half seems like a pretty convincing Buccaneers line. I just don't think Denver can keep up offensively with the Bucs. I'm going to take Tampa Bay minus six and a half. I think the same could be said. uh, The same logic could be said for Buffalo on uh, this week against Jacksonville. Jacksonville has struggled offensively. Trevor Lawrence just does not look nearly as sharp as he should. Josh Allen, despite losing Stefan Diggs, has been really good. James Cook has been good as well. That's right. uh, the, the Bills are minus five at home. I'm not sure Jacksonville is going to be able to keep up with Buffalo. I'm going to take the Bills in this one minus five. I looked at that one as well. I like your... Uh... I like not the pick we went head to head. The other pick that you had. Uh, yeah, oh, you, you don't like the Denver. one that you don't like the one where I disagree no, with you. I, I don't, I don't like blame you. I I, De- I I agree. I agree with the Denver game, and you said that he's going to get a GM fired. That GM's Sean Payton, also the head coach. 
because he ultimately was the one that said, I'm going to draft Bo Nix. Yeah, I don't, I, it, a lot of good games, a lot of good games this weekend. When you look at the schedule that, that, that Baltimore, the Ravens have a chance to fall to 0 and three, which they're is crazy. On the to road, me. They're, they're on the road. They were one of the favorites for the Super Bowl. Everybody, no one, because no one wants to say the Chiefs three years in a row. So what's the team that people are picking? The Ravens. Sure. They could go to 0 and three. They're one point favorites in Dallas. And, and listen, there has been a track record of teams struggling to find consistency after losing in a championship game early, and then they figure it right. out. Right. Like we, we've seen it happen plenty. Um, they the fall Chief, to 0 and Chiefs 3. Notwithstanding, but if they fall to 0 and 3, we're going to see a lot of percentages of this is how many teams started a season 0 and 3 and made the playoffs, made the Super Bowl, sure. made the championship game. So it's almost a must win for them. I'd love to see the Cowboys go to 1 and 2. That would be so awesome.